Hey guys, today I'm doing the my book Tubathon Day 6 update. So we're going to start with the, the challenge, which is the Minute of Names challenge, which is two minutes, but whatever. Um, and this was given to us by Lala over at Books and Lala, who is one of my favorites. So I'm really excited for this challenge. So this challenge, we have to find our names in books. Um, we have to spell our names using the book titles, very similar to day two challenge, but different. Um, and then I might end up doing some of the challenges in this, some of the past challenges, because I missed all of the other ones, but that's undecided. Currently, right now, I'm only doing <laughs> day six. Okay, so I have two minutes ready. My bookshelf is over here, so it won't be in the shot, but oh well. I'll show you I'll show you the books. Probably. Yeah. So two minutes on the clock. Ready, set, go. D Y shoot Maybe I'll only I'll only be able to do this once. <laughs> On my entire bookshelf. No Ys. So that was a complete fail. <laughs> I'm going to show you the books that I got. Um, but I didn't complete my name once. So, oops. So we're going to start with the one that was completed the most, which is this one. I have Blood Promise by Rashad Mead for the B. Requiem by Lauren Oliver for the R. Ask the Passengers for A. 1984 for the N. It's, yeah, it's, it's on the side. And I have the Dream Thieves for the D. On my entire bookshelf, I have no Ys. No books that start with a Y. So I couldn't complete my name unless I spelt it wrong. Okay, now for the two other piles that I have but didn't get completed because I didn't complete any of them. I have Bloodlines for B, The Raven Boys for the R, an Echo in the Bone for the A, and New Moon for the N. I tried to get as many as possible. I got three started, but none could be completed. And then lastly, I have Blue Lily Lily Blue, The Raven Bo the Raven King, and Altered for the B, the R, and the A. So that was a great challenge. I did so well. Um. Okay, now I'm going to do day two's challenge, which is the Say My Name challenge, because I really want to do that one, because I want to share, share my favorite book, because I love it so much, which I don't have here with me, because I left that school, because I couldn't carry that many books with me. So I'm going to go collect the books and put these books away, and I'll see you guys in a bit. I can find a U, but I can't find a Y. <laughs> so I'm improvising for the Y for this one.
I don't know why. Of course, I find the why after the challenge that counts. I only got every single word because there are there are five words in this title. So my favorite book is called If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. I, my other favorite book is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Seeds of the Universe. However, I wasn't going to go go about selling that one. Okay, so for if I have, if I say in fairest, if I was your found it after found it after the challenge but it doesn't count anymore yeah your girl can't wait to put these away now but i really wanted to do this challenge because no one ever talks about this book because even though i love this book but no one talks about it anyways um now for my reading update. I have finished four books. Nope, I lied. I have finished three books um, and I'm in the middle of two other ones. So I'm going to start with the three books that I finished and work on to the ones that I have not finished. The first book that I finished for Booktube Gone was More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. I gave this a five out of five stars because it was fantastic. I love Adam's previous not previous. This is his previous book. I loved History is All You Left Me, and I love this one. I'm definitely going to be picking up. They both die at the end. I'm, I love his books a lot. And I'm currently enjoying his short story in Because You Love to Hate Me. So yeah. The same day, on day two, I finished Lumberjanes Volume 6, Sink or Swim. This was not my favorite in the series, probably my one of my least favorites because I didn't enjoy so yes, it's not my favorite, but it was good. The last book that I finished for the readathon was Always and Forever Laura Jean by Jenny Han. I enjoyed this one as well. Again, not my favorite in this series either, but it was pretty good. I enjoyed finishing the series, and I enjoyed every book in this series. They all were four out of five stars for me. Yeah, this one was good. So in the entire readathon, I read two short stories from Because You Love to Hate Me, plus two pages of Adam Silvera's one. I just am not the hugest fan of short story collections. I'm having a hard time reading it, especially because I have to read it outside. <laughs> and I read, and I read a few more pages of Perfect Ruin by Lauren DeStefano. I don't know, I'm just, now that I've read three books in four days, I'm not as invested right now to read, so I'm kind of being relaxed, which I'm okay with. I don't really care that much about like winning booktube with on anymore because I'm caught up with my reading goal for the for Goodreads, so that's all I really cared about. So yeah. So that's all I have for this booktube with on update. Tell me what you guys read and if you guys are participating down in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!